three, two, one. Hi HGTV, my name is Felice Cohen and I'd like to welcome you to the world's smallest and most organized apartment. Come on in. So my apartment is located in Manhattan on the Upper West Side and it's a fifth floor walk up so I get a good workout every single day whether I like it or not. The apartment measures 12 feet long by seven and a half feet wide and if Michael Jordan were to stand here and I would love to invite him to come over and try it he could touch both hands to both walls. So the apartment I'll give you a tour. Let's start with the kitchen. I call it actually a kitsch because it's not a full kitchen. So in my kitsch I have a toaster oven and when it's not being stored with rice cakes and mangoes, or depending on the season, that fruit, I can make a lot in here. I can heat up chicken. I can make quesadillas. You learn to be pretty creative with a toaster oven. So I also have a small fridge, which has got a small freezer, which is filled mostly with ice and frozen fruit, but I can make my smoothies. And it's got a small fridge. Now... One of the downfalls of having a small fridge is that you have to food shop more often, but on the other hand, you never waste food. And in my family, we don't waste food, so it's good. So here I have my one cabinet, and I have my drawer of silverware, and, and this is where I keep my cereal and my peanut butter and my crackers, and then I have a bowl, so I can make salad here, and it's very convenient. And here, a shelf here, so this is what I use actually when I'm about to leave and I know I have to make sure I don't forget something, this is my to-go section right here. And a place for my keys. It's always important, to, always, to have a place for your keys so you're never looking for them. And of course my hot pot where I excel at making hard-boiled eggs. I didn't even know that after 20 minutes hard-boiled eggs are still good, because sometimes you forget. So I knew before I lived, moved in this apartment that you had to go up because with not a lot of room you have to go up. So the first thing I wanted to do was build the apartment around a desk. Now I spend most of my time here at this desk because I'm a writer and I'm also an artist and I make shrinky dink art which is right here. It's the smallest art you can make in a small apartment. So anyways I knew that I had to have a workspace and so I bought, got the best shelves. These are metro shelving units, also known as baker's racks. And these are the best because they can hold a lot of weight. Plus, you can change the height whatever size you want. So I knew I wanted a desk, and then I knew I wanted to have space for these totes, which I got at the container store that I've labeled here so I know what's in each one. Travel toiletries, gifts, wrapping paper, accessories, shorts. These great things I got at Ikea and they hold bathing suits and sports bras and gloves and stuff like that. And then there's one for socks. So these are great because these are tips for holding everything and when you want to categorize your stuff these bins are the best things because I don't have to think oh where's the wrapping paper? I know it's in the wrapping paper bin. Or you know I need to write a letter where's the stationery? So that's one of the tricks i found with organizing, is grouping all the like things together. So when I'm working at my desk, I have my computer, and then I have all my supplies, because things should just be easy to get to. So I have these great things that I keep in paper clips and stamps, and I'm always organizing. This is my constant work pile and binders for work and writing. Now, again, you need space for everything specific. So here are all my workout clothes. My t-shirts, shorts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, jeans, and more art supplies up there. And another trick with organizing is having hot and cold zones. And when I was little we played this game with my mom when she was trying to cook dinner and I was little to keep me occupied she would hide something in the kitchen and she would and I'd have to find it. She'd say you're getting warmer, you're getting warmer and if I was far away you're getting colder. And I use that when I'm organizing my stuff in the sense that if it's something that I need every day like socks or a pair of shorts for the gym or a t-shirt or my scissors that they need to be hot zones which are easy to reach. Stuff that I don't use as often, um, my completed art, um, extra art supplies, extra mailing, some bags I don't use, those are in cold zones so they're farther away. 
So here, one of the things I loved about this apartment when I first saw it was the brick wall. This is exposed brick wall, it's cozy, it's nice, but I also don't like to feel cluttered. I grew up in a house that was 5,200 square feet. My bedroom alone was 17 by 17 feet. It had two walk-in closets. Both put together are almost the size of this apartment. So one of the things I loved about this apartment was this brick wall. And I wanted to have a place where I could relax and hang out and I could sit in the chaise and read and watch TV. I usually watch most of my TV on my computer anyways. And it's just a really nice space. It gets light all day long, which is one of the things I have to have is light. And, you know, when I need to know what to wear, what the weather's like, I look out the window and see what people are wearing. So it's very convenient. And another great thing about this apartment is the location because I am just a block from Central Park, which I consider my backyard. I'm just a couple blocks from Lincoln Center and the Beacon Theater and Fairway and Zabar's and the West Side Highway. So there's so many great things I love about this apartment. Now, one big thing, and like everybody's question about your closet. Luckily, this apartment actually has a great size closet. Now, when I moved in, it had double doors. Now, double doors are horrible because when you open a double door, you can't see what's on the other side both ways. So the first thing I did was removed the double doors. In any apartment, anybody should do this because especially for women, we like to see everything we have. So what I did was I bought this suspension bar and I got a curtain, a nice color. Now I can look in my apartment, my closet, and see everything. Now lots of times when they design a closet, you've got the one shelf and a bar and I really don't always like that situation, but I was able to make the most of it. The first thing I did was I got what's called an extension rod. So there's an extension though I was able to just create a double bar, which is the best thing. So I have all my pants folded down here and my tops up here. And there is space for long items like dresses. So it's great. And then I have a, a thing for belts inside here where I wear my belts. So when I'm organizing my closet, it's important for me when I'm getting ready to have all the shirts together, especially in color. So if your shirts are together by color and by size, when I'm getting ready in the morning, if I want to wear short sleeve, my short sleeves are here, long sleeves are here, and then you can match. Up top, I have, you know, my piles by casual, casual short sleeve, casual long sleeve, dressier sweaters, and my pajamas. So this is so organized, I'm never spending time looking for something. I am spending time trying to figure out what to wear and, and for the most part I would say I wear like they say you wear 20 percent of your clothing 80 percent of the time which is true so I'm often going through my clothes and I do what's called hand me arounds with my sisters and I who are younger we're about the same size so we're always sharing clothes which is great. Another thing I love is the shoe rack. It's a shoe bin, a shoe organizer and you can fit, they come in different sizes, 24 pairs of shoes. And they're also great for storing things like umbrellas, um, balls for the gym, but this is really what helps because it absorbs most of your stuff. Now when I moved into this apartment, I actually put a lot of stuff in storage. I had 75 boxes in my aunt and uncle's basement in Connecticut. And when I moved in here, I thought I'd only be here for a year. I've been here for four years. So what I did um, with all that stuff, every once in a while I would go to, this, to their house and look in the storage boxes and I now have zero boxes there. I've gotten rid of everything. I've either given it away, sold some things, so much stuff we don't even realize we don't need. Now one of the great things about this apartment is the loft bed. Now a bed takes up a lot of space in your apartment so this apartment has a loft bed and I'm going to climb up and show you. Now the thing about this loft bed is there are only 23 inches between the top of the mattress and the ceiling so you can't sit up in the bed and you can't wake up quickly but um, I've, learned, I've gotten used to it. The first night I had a panic attack and I almost jumped out um, but I realized I was afraid that I might fall. So what I did was I installed a bar here so now I know I can get out safely and I love it and I found it very cozy. So I'm going to climb up here and I'll show you what the bed is like. And you know what, let me just look. 
So here's the bed up top, and there are only 23 inches between the bed and the ceiling. So you see it's nice and cozy, I have a little light, and at night I can read in here, and it's great. So I will just show you being in the bed, it's just like this. So you see that there's plenty of room and there's a lot of light, and I can just read up here at night, I listen to music, and I love it up here. It's very cozy. I had considered getting a little flat screen TV, but I realized I don't even watch TV that often, so um, I just like it as my nice, quiet, personal space. So I would like to thank you for considering me uh, for HGTV. Oh wait, someone asked about the bathroom. Let me show you the bathroom. Hold on. All right. Oh yes, the bathroom. That's the best part. So here we have the bathroom, and now in New York City, most people don't even have a tub, let alone a full tub, uh, a full tub in their in their bathrooms. I have a full tub, and the toilet, and a little airplane sink. And I know sometimes when I'm washing dishes, I'm finding myself in the bathroom washing a dish, and I feel like I'm back in college. And I think to myself, didn't I do this once before? But you know what? The fact that I only have one dish means there's a lot less time washing dishes and a lot more time having fun. So in the bathroom, again, there's high ceilings, which are great. And I have a storage unit here for stuff and a storage back here. And one thing I discovered is brooms that I obviously don't use often are great for holding toilet paper and paper towels. That's a little trick. You know, always thinking outside the box. And I have more of my art which is great. So I'd like to thank you again. Now this is the official end. I appreciate you considering me for HGTV. Thank you very much.